What's up, bros? Adventure Bro, back at it again, bringing you the content you won't see anywhere else. Here we are today, bros, at my favorite wave fishing spot that has been closed for like the past year. And man, let me tell you, I've been wanting to fish this spot. I came down in my kayak one time. It was the worst kayak trip ever. It took me hours to get down, hours to get back. Caught a few trout, some reds. But hey, it's flounder season right now. And I'm gonna get out there and catch me some slab flounder. Let's go. Somebody cut a hole in the fence. Well, I might as well go through it. That part has been grown over. I'm gonna go this way, see. The tide looks extremely high. There's another fisherman out here. Doing any catching today, man? Yeah. They've got the gate closed. I'm gonna go to my spot over here. Excuse me. See, right over there is where I usually stand. Because the water's so hot today, I'm not standing there. So we're going to set up right here. We're going to cast out. We're going to wait out to about right there where everybody, where the fish are jumping, and cast out and see what happens. All right, bros, we're gonna be throwing a gulp swimming mullet today, and here we go. This water is cold, man. Haven't got in the water in like this in a long time. Oh, that was a pull up. I felt them. Well, I can tell you one thing. That is not supposed to look like this. So many little chunks have been taken out of that by a little pit, pinfish, croaker, small baitfish. Oh well. It still has action. And we'll still throw it back out there. Maybe. Nope. Oh, I got one. Let's see. He's a small guy. He's small. Oh, he let go right there. He was a flounder. Let's get back out there, I guess. So 
I've just got one flounder and the guy was small. Got another one, he's not small. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. He's not a small guy. Come on, baby. Look at you. You swallowed it. Come on, calm down. Mmm, he does he's not happy. He is not happy. Let me get you. Let me get you. I don't have my net. I wasn't expecting to catch it. Let's see where we can grab him. Here we go, bros. Here we go. It's flounder season, and that is a beautiful fish. Here we go. One down. Let's get our second one. He's got that thing all the way in there, too. Let's wade back and get a measurement. This is all artificial. I know that's not how you're supposed to use fish grips, but that's how we're using them today. And he's coming home for dinner. Say, there's a fish on it right here. It was a log. Let me throw him back this way. Off into the sunset. All right, bros, my freaking camera just died and I got this solid fish on and I have my phone out here. So I'm gonna see, oh, and guess what? We got us a flounder, let's go. We're gonna bring his ass over here and put him on the stringer and catch another one. Well, bros, my GoPro died. And I've been filming the rest of this this video with my phone. We came down here and we accomplished our goal. Got our flounder, 16 and a half. He's a nice guy. And we caught another one. This is at the Moses Lake floodgate. It's not legal, but it's not illegal. So it's illegally legal. There's no signs posted. Somebody just cut a hole in the fence. And I'm gonna keep fishing, but I'm gonna see you guys later because it's too dark and my camera's dead. Thanks for tuning in. Next time on the Adventure Bro Show, we're gonna have something special for you.